Time now for the Friends Zone. We welcome one of our friends from here at Fox News onto the show. The show has no older friend than Maria Bartiromo. She hosts Mornings with Maria, of course, on Fox Business. She was the very first person we booked when we started a year ago. Thankfully, we still have lots to talk about a year later. Thanks in part to the Republican tax overhaul bill, Maria Bartiromo. Maria joins us tonight. Good Maria, to thanks you, a lot Dr. for coming on. So I want to run this by you. We talked to the chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee last night, Kevin Brady of Texas. And we asked, look, this bill seems to give a uh, tax cut to all corporations, but maybe raise taxes on some Americans. Is that true? Here's what he said. Your pledge as chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee is that nobody is going to wind up with less money if this passes. In my belief, between these tax cuts and higher paychecks and growth, whether you're that worker on Main Street or that small business on Main Street, you're going to see more in your paycheck. You're going to see more in your pocketbook. So nobody loses. Do you think that's true? Well, Tucker... You know, he, he sort of put in there the word growth, and I do think that this is a growth tax plan. However, it's very hard for me to say, look at you and say, people are not going to see a tax increase. There are some people here who are seeing a tax increase. The bulk and the beauty of this plan is about the corporate rate. Taking the corporate rate down right. to 20 percent, you would think, has legs. In other words, it is going to have impact because companies will be doing better. They'll be investing in their businesses. They'll use that extra savings to hire more people. So overall, the economy you would expect will get better. Having said that, there are winners and losers here. There are, it feels like they are raising taxes on a portion of the people, millionaires, for example, if you, uh, if you make a million dollars or more, you will probably, see, and you're from New York or California or New Jersey or Illinois, you will probably see higher taxes as a way to pay for a 20% corporate tax rate. I mean, there's just no other way to look at it. I mean, th there are also winners and losers in other things like the family tax credit. They're spending $650 billion on a family tax credit. That's great for families. If you don't have kids, you don't get that benefit. So depending on where you work, where you live, whether or not you have children, will all dictate dictate what your tax return looks like. The truth is, is this is a one and a half trillion dollar plan. They've got one and a half trillion dollars to work with to cut taxes and nine hundred billion dollars of that, Tucker, is for the business cuts. So it's very easy to see that they have to raise taxes on some people by eliminating certain deductions, like eliminating the state and local, to pay for their lower corporate tax rate. Can you, I mean, can, can you sell that plan, the idea that investors will benefit at the expense of what, regular people? I mean, it seems like it'd be pretty hard to sell that, given where the economy is right now. Well, it's these rules around the, it's the rules in the Senate and reconciliation that are forcing mm -hmm. them to only stand by one and a half trillion dollars in tax cuts. Because if they didn't have these rules, they could cut taxes on everybody. But, you know, the truth is, is this plan is largely about cutting corporate taxes to create an environment right. for business so that business puts their money back in the economy and hires more people. But when you eliminate that that deduction in state and local, you're certainly going to lose a big, a, a big impact. You're going to have a big impact if you're from New York and you use that deduction and you will see higher taxes. Having said that, I do believe a lowered corporate tax rate will have legs and will have impact in growing the economy. I mean, I want that to be true. Absolutely. Yeah. And, I, and I understand the reasoning behind it. But a lot of people I know who work at the top end of American industry are doing really, really, really well, better than anyone's ever done in the history of the world. And they're all flying private. Mm -hmm. And yet we still have stagnant wage growth and a ton of unemployed people. So if they make more, does, are we sure that that's going to wind up helping the middle class? Well, I mean, that's a good question, because the question being asked, the, the lawmakers now is, how do we know that businesses are going to use that savings to actually hire more people and invest in their business? Right. Maybe they'll just buy back stock. And the president was asked that question. He said, fine, buying back stock is okay, too. Look, the bottom line is this. The top 10% of earners pay 
71% of all the tax. So what right. I've been saying a lot recently is it feels like you're cutting taxes on people who don't pay taxes. How about cutting taxes on the top 10% that pay the taxes? But again, you know, I mean, you know, something's got to give. We've got $20 trillion in debt. You've got the left saying that this is a tax cut for the rich. And in some cases, I feel like they did get bullied by being forced, you know, bullied by these talking points, by being forced to raise taxes on some people. But something's got to give, and it does have to be paid for. I don't think you could uh, count on growth paying for everything. Thank you, Maria. I knew you would explain it better than anyone else could. And thank you for coming back a year later. Don't miss Mornings with Maria from 6 to 9 Eastern. It's the best Fox business. Maria Bartiromo, thank you.